Singapore police are investigating the people behind an online video that insults Chinese Singaporeans, uses four-letter words on Chinese Singaporeans, vulgar gestures, and which the Home Affairs Minister says is designed to make minorities angry with Chinese Singaporeans. The rap video, which the minister says crosses the line, was in reaction to an advertisement by Nets, who had engaged Havas Worldwide as its creative agency for the publicity campaign for its e-payment app, ePay. Now, Havas engaged Mediacorp's celebrity management arm, the celebrity agency, to cast Mediacorp celebrity Dennis Chu as the face of the campaign. Dennis Chu is made up to look like four different people, a Malay woman wearing a tudong, an Indian man in office attire, a young Chinese woman, and a Chinese man with a moustache in blue overalls. A police report was lodged against the rap video for its offensive content. Now, separately, the Infocom Media Development Authority said that the video constitutes prohibited content under the Internet Code of Practice that is objectionable on grounds of public interest and national harmony. It issued a notice to take down the video, and the publishers have complied. Home Affairs Minister Keishan Mugam said the authorities take a zero-tolerance approach to such things. This rap video insults Chinese Singaporeans, uses four-letter words on Chinese Singaporeans, vulgar gestures, pointing or middle finger, to make minorities angry with Chinese Singaporeans. When you use four-letter words, vulgar language, attack another race, put it out in public, we have to draw the line and say, not acceptable. And it's not a defense to say, oh, I did it in response to something that I didn't like. If something you didn't like, then you ask for an apology. If you think it is criminal, you make a police report. You don't yourself cross the line. People can also say, why should we take this so seriously? Surely one video, it's not going to lead to violence. Surely people will laugh this off. Maybe so. But think of it as if we allow this, then we have to allow other videos. There can be then hundreds of such videos. Right? You allow one, you have to allow a hundred. What do you think will happen to our racial harmony, social fabric? How will people look at each other? Uh, and suppose you allow this video. Let's say a Chinese now does a video attacking Indians, Malays, using four-letter words, uh, vulgar gestures, same kind of videos. And let's say there are hundreds or thousands of such videos. How do you think the Indians and the Malays will feel? Would people feel safe? Would the minorities feel safe? There are good reasons why Singapore is different. Why there is racial harmony here? Why all races feel safe? Why minorities feel safe? And we must maintain that. We will maintain that. How would you feel, for example, if four letter words were used to describe your religion? Christians, Muslims, Hindus, we do a rap video and we use four letter words, gestures. If people do that, if we allowed that, how would you think our people feel? We will not allow it, not this government. When you put out statements that wound racial, religious feelings, that's an offense in Singapore. I've asked the police to investigate. We cannot allow these sorts of attacks. In relation to the original advertisement, Media Corp says, quote, the portrayal of some races in the ad was done in an insensitive fashion. We take full responsibility and apologize unreservedly. We will have more stringent safeguards in place to prevent a repeat of such mistakes, end quote. Several political office holders have also weighed in on this incident. Culture, Community and Youth Minister Grace Fu said, and I quote, race is an emotive issue which touches the core of our identity. The recent ePay advertisement was done in poor taste, but the tit-for-tat video was disrespectful and will lead us down a dark path, end quote. She added that strengthening ties across communities takes time, effort and mutual understanding. Senior Minister of State for Communications and Information, Dr. Janel Puticherry, said the rap video is vulgar, aggressive, and does nothing to help either the initial mistake nor the circumstances that allowed it to happen. He also said we did not get this far in race relations by trading one offense for another. Minister of State for National Development Zaki Mohammed said 
Race is always a sensitive issue, and these incidents remind us that racial harmony continues to be a work in progress. No matter our differences, no matter whether we are a minority or a majority community, we must always treat each other with mutual respect, graciousness, and consideration.